sitting in lounge in front of TV in vino in hand. Sorry, can someone explain to me exactly what that's supposed to mean? Wow. Naturally, he gained a huge fan base and left us all thinking. How did you drown in your own helmet? Sorry, left us all thinking. We want to do that. What? Be a mason. Because that's the only way you're going to ever try it. Get be anywhere like this guy. He's got his ring on. Sometimes you can see their rings. They're all masons, basically. Most of these astronauts got their proudly showing their rings. Uh, we want to do that. Until his post on social media stopped us dreaming in our tracks. <gasps> I don't want to watch it, do I? Let's watch it. No, that's for the blue planet. Oh no. Oh. Wow. I did love Blue Planet. It was pretty awesome. Not a big fear fam. Not a big hit though with the Flat Earthers now. Anyway, back on to Tim. Tim shared a typical brain teaser question that he had to face during his intense application. Can you lie? Are you a good liar, Tim? Can you tell lies to people? Can you do this and tell lies to people? Can we count on you to keep the secret, Tim? Sorry, Tim shared a typical brain teaser question that he had to face during his intense application process when he was one of nearly 9,000 hopefuls. It involves a cube, a dot, and some directions. Sounds simple, but well, it's not. And according to Tim, this is one of the easier ones. Um, how did the Soyuz hatch close on the window when it's not even lined up? Why do they have to use a physical connection to close the hatches on the Soyuz, the windows, covers on the Soyuz, instead of just using magnets? No, that's not the teaser. No. Here's a mental challenge that Tim had to answer in his selection process. Imagine that you are facing a cube. This cube can roll to the left, right, forward, towards you, or backwards, away from you. There is a dot on the bottom of the cube. Now, in your mind, roll the cube forward, left, left, forward, right, backwards, right. Where is the dot? Ah. Uh, let's go left. Uh-huh. Uh, yep. Left. Yeah. And then left. Uh, hold on. Left. I'll have to pause this and work it out. Hold on. Uh, the answer is, it depends which way you face, well, you count as left, basically. It's the back one, to the top there, left, or is the one closer to the screen on the left, left. Mm -hmm. Or is it left from your, from your perspective, or left from, uh, L. You know, it's hard, you can't really tell which one's left unless it's marked L, so that's a trick question in my opinion. Here's a wicked brain teaser featured in my Ask an Astronaut book, straight from my astronaut selection test. Selection test. They get harder. Oh. Like, how did uh, you drown in your own helmet? Is that in there? And why did the Soyuz use a physical connection to close the hatches on the windows? Well, they could have just used magnets. Interested in that, right? I'm bored now. Actually, before we go, let's read some of the sheeple comments. Tim Peak, here's a quick photo. Oh, that's Tim again. Polly, on the top. It's going to be on the right side. I just assumed that was a woman. Oh, it is a woman. Yeah. Bottom. Uh, should I comment? I think I might leave a comment. Stop wasting my data with your stupid advert, Britney Spears. I might save that, it's kind of funny. Save. Nope. Uh, oh, he's actually responding, look. Tim Peake, shall I ask him a question? 
Can I ask him a question? I don't remember my Twitter account. Nope. How did you drown in your own helmet? Anyway, like, comment, subscribe. I'm bored now. Uh, do you like Team Peak? Is he? Is, are you a fan of his? I can't even remember how I got into this song yet. Heart Radio.